Welcome to the Barsmith Library. As well as the Barsmith, the University of Adelaide has four other libraries, the Music Library, the Law Library, and two campus libraries at Waite and Roseworthy. Start your tour at the Information Services Point in Hub Central Level 3 on the Blue Carpet area. OK, let's get started. To your right are the main stairs to Levels 1 and 2. You will notice the security gates at the top of the stairs. You need to have borrowed all library items before you can exit through these gates. Don't go down here now, but walk straight ahead to the library entrance from the bridge. It's on your left. Opening hours are displayed on the glass doors. Remember that opening hours change throughout the year. You can also check online on the library website under the Library A to Z tab. Now walk outside to the foyer entrance. Pause and restart when you are here. Book return chutes are located in the foyer area. The outside doors are open 24-7, so library items can be returned at any time. Walk back into the library and turn left. This will take you to level 3 north. Pause and restart when you are here. Walk through the security gates. Remember that all items must be borrowed before leaving or you'll set the alarms off. Walk straight ahead to service inquiries. This is where you go for help with queries about loans, demerit points, your card not working, etc. A self-check machine is at the end of this desk. At the self-check machine, you can borrow your own library items. If you have any problems, take it to service inquiries to sort out. Beyond the self-check machine, you will see a glassed area. This is the reserve collection. Short-term loan items are kept here. Opposite is research help. This is where you go for information or assistance with finding resources for your projects and assignments. Further on, you will see where you can collect your hold items. If you have requested something that was out on loan or from another campus, these items can be picked up from here and borrowed using the self-check machines. They are shelved under your last name. On the other side of the holds shelves are the newspapers and a small selection of magazines and current journals. To the right, under the windows, are public access computers and a photocopier scanner. Retrace your steps to the security gates and turn left. Pause and restart when you are here. Walk through the area between service inquiries on your left and the toilets on your right. Notice that there is another self-check machine on your right. There are more on levels 1 and 2. Turn left and take the stairs down to level 2. Stop at the bottom of the stairs. Pause and restart when you are here. To the left is the entrance to the foyer of the reading room. Before you walk into the foyer, look to your right. Past the lift are some student computers. Beyond the shelves, you will see a red brick corridor that leads to level two south. There are some more computers to the right of this passageway, as well as the level two printer and a photocopier scanner. Make your way back to the stairs you used to come down and go into the foyer area of the reading room. Pause and restart when you are here. This area contains the reference collection, such as encyclopedias and dictionaries. Just remember that these items can't be borrowed. Walk into the reading room. This is the original Barsmith Library, which was opened in 1932. It is a great place for quiet study. More information about this historic part of the library can be found outside in the foyer. This area has books with numbers from 954 to 999, and they can all be borrowed. Feel free to wander around the original part of the library. Pause and restart when you're ready to move on. Retrace your steps back to the stairs and walk straight ahead into level two north. This area has books with numbers from 900 to 953. Many classics and history books are shelved here. Make your way back to the stairs and go down to level one. At the bottom of the stairs, turn right. Pause and restart when ready. 
This is level 1 and has books from 500 to 599. Many maths and science books are shelved here. Level 1 toilets are located on the other side of the stairs behind you. To your left are the student computers. The printer is on the far wall to the right of the doorway and the photocopier scanner is on the left. Printing from level 1 and 2 student computers uses your university print quota. For more information about printing from computers in the library, check the A to Z tab on the library website. Walk through the doorway. Pause and restart when you are here. On the right are individual study tables. Please note that all of levels 1 and 2 are quiet study areas. If you need to do group or discussion work, there are plenty of areas in Hub Central for you to use. Walk down the ramp and you will be in level 1 South. On your right is rare books and special collections. This area is open between 1 and 4 p.m. Monday to Friday. On the left are the public access computers and self-check machine. These computers can be used to check library resources. No login is required, but you can't print using your print quota and they have restricted access to the internet. The books in this area have numbers from 001 to 499. Books about politics, psychology, philosophy, economics and social sciences are here. Walk through the doorway on your left to the other side of the stairs. Here you will find photocopier scanners. Instructions are on the wall. Scanning to a USB device is free, but you have to pay for print copies. You can do this by adding money to your student ID card at the recharge machine on level 3. Use the main stairs to go up to level 2 and then turn right. Pause and restart when you are here. This is level 2 south. Book numbers here are 600 to 899. Books on engineering, art, architecture, literature, health sciences, business and marketing are shelved here. Most of the literature collection is in front of you and round to your right. Notice the reshelving table. Put books here that you have taken off the shelf but are not borrowing and need to be returned. To your right are the public access computers. Remember, these are for looking up library resources and not for typing up essays or checking emails. The self-check machine is on the end. You will need to borrow your books before leaving this area via the main stairs or you will set off the alarm. On the other side of the stairs are more photocopiers scanners. Walk straight ahead to the reference and research librarians area. Pause and restart when you are here. Your subject librarian is located in this area. You can check the library website to find out who your research librarian is. To your right is the red brick passageway that takes you to level 2 north and the reading room. On your left, past the shelves, there are more individual study desks. Retrace your steps back to the main stairs and walk up to level 3. Pause and restart when ready. Here you can exit the library. Hub Central is to your left. Remember that you won't be able to take any items through the security gates unless you have borrowed them on level 2. If you need more information about using the Barsmith Library, you can check out the Library A to Z tab on the website and there are booklets available from Research Help. This booklet also have maps of all the areas you have been through today. This concludes your tour of the Barsmith Library. Thanks for participating and good luck with your studies.